which proposal in the development of the modern model of the atom was made before the others? For this question, you have to remember the atomic theory timeline. Dalton hypothesized that atoms were hard, indivisible spheres. Then, J.J. Thompson proposed a plum pudding model, that there was a positive sphere surrounded by negative particles. Ernest Rutherford performed the gold foil experiment, where he deduced that the atom was mostly made of space but had a dense nucleus. Bohr hypothesized that the electrons revolved around the nucleus like planets revolve around the sun. Based on the timeline, the correct answer to question 1 is answer choice 1. According to the wave mechanical model, in the ground state, the 10 electrons of a neon atom would be located. The wave mechanical model suggests that the electrons would be found in orbitals around the nucleus. Answer choice 2. Which statement describes two different isotopes of carbon? Isotopes are elements with the same number of protons but a different number of neutrons. This means that they will have the same atomic number but a different number of neutrons. Answer choice 3. An element that is a very reactive metal would have an atomic number of. The most reactive elements are those in group 1 because they have one electron in their outer shell. They need to lose the electron to complete their outer shell. Looking at the atomic numbers of elements in group 1, one element has an atomic number of 19. Answer choice 3. Which element is listed with the number of protons in each of its atoms? The number of protons in an element is the same as its atomic number. Answer choice 2, silicon 14, is the correct answer because the atomic number of silicon is 14. What is the overall charge on the nucleus of a fluorine atom? The charge on the nucleus is the same as the atomic number. The atomic number of fluorine is 9, and the nucleus always has a positive charge. Answer choice 3. As the elements with atomic numbers 11 through 17 are considered in order of increasing atomic number, the classification of the elements changes from the elements go from metals to metalloids and to nonmetals. Answer choice one. The elements to the left of the staircase are metals, the elements along the staircase are metalloids, and the elements to the right of the staircase are nonmetals. At STP, which property can be used to differentiate one mole samples of Cl2 and Kr? The answer to this question is choice 3, reactivity. Phase cannot differentiate the elements because they are both gases, and at SDP, both will have the same temperature and pressure. Two gaseous forms of oxygen are diatomic oxygen and ozone. These two forms of oxygen have... O2 and O3 will have different molecular structures because it's a different amount of elements, 2 versus 3. Because of their different molecular structure, they will also have different chemical properties. Answer choice 4. A compound consists of two or more different elements that are? The answer is choice 3. A compound is the result of a chemical reaction, and the portions will always stay the same. Compared to the chemical and physical properties of the compound CO, the compound CO2 has... The two compounds have a different amount of oxygen elements, which means they will have different chemical and physical properties. Which phrase describes the molecular polarity of the charge distribution of an HCl molecule? HCl is a polar molecule because there is an electronegativity difference between hydrogen and chlorine. There will be an asymmetrical charge distribution because Cl has a negative charge, whereas H has a positive charge. Which atom forms an ion with a radius larger than the atomic radius? The answer is answer choice 2. The oxygen ion will gain two more electrons to have a complete outer shell. The atomic radius will be less than the ionic radius. All the other answer choices lose electrons, so their ionic radius will be less than the atomic radius. Which sample can be classified as a substance? Argon, answer choice 2, can be classified as a substance because it's an element. A 1 gram sample of NaCl dissolved in 100 grams of water at 25 degrees Celsius and another 1 gram sample of NaCl dissolved in 50 grams of water at 25 degrees Celsius. Which property of the two resulting mixtures will be different? The answer is choice 4. Because 1 gram of NaCl out of 100 grams of water is 1 out of 100, but 1 gram of NaCl in 50 grams of water is 1 out of 50, so the proportions are different.
Based on table G, which compound has the greatest solubility in 100 grams of water at 10 degrees Celsius? In order to determine the answer to this question, we must look at each of the lines on table G and align it with the 10 degrees Celsius. Look for which line is the highest when aligned with 10 degrees Celsius. This is HCl, answer choice one. According to the kinetic molecular theory, ideal gas particles, you just have to remember the properties of an ideal gas, which makes answer choice four the correct answer. A reaction is most likely to occur when the reacting particles collide with proper orientation and proper. You just have to remember that to collide, particles must have proper orientation and proper energy, answer choice two. A sample of SO2 and a sample of NO2 contain the same number of molecules when they have the same. In order to have the same number of molecules, they must have the same volume, so eliminate answer choice two. The mass will not determine the amount of molecules because S and N have different atomic masses, so the answer is choice three. Which term identifies the strong intermolecular forces found in a sample of liquid water? The answer is three, hydrogen bonding, because it is asking about the bonds of water, which is made up of hydrogen. Which mathematical expression represents the heat of reaction for a chemical change? The answer is answer choice one. The heat of the reactant would be calculated by subtracting the potential energy of the reactants from the potential energy of the products. Catalysts can increase the rate of a chemical reaction by providing, answer choice three, an alternate reaction pathway with a lower activation energy. You just have to remember the definition of a catalyst. Which term represents the disorder of a system? The answer is answer choice one, entropy. Which element must be present in all organic compounds? You just have to remember that carbon will always be present in all organic compounds, so the answer is answer choice three. Based on table R, which functional group allows a compound to be classified as an organic acid? If you look at table R in the row of organic compounds, it has a carbon atom, double bonded to an oxygen atom. The carbon atom is also bonded to a hydroxide compound, which aligns with answer choice three. In a voltaic cell, oxidation occurs. For this problem, you can remember red cat and ox, which means the oxidation will occur at the anode, answer choice two. Which positive ion must be present in an aqueous solution of an Arrhenius acid? In an acid, hydronium ions are always present, answer choice one. A change that converts an atom of one element to another element is called. You just have to remember that word this is definition of. The answer is choice four, transmutation, which is the nucleus changes the number of protons to produce an atom with a different atomic number. Which radiation has the least ionizing power and greatest penetrating power? Gamma radiation has the highest penetrating power and the least ionizing power. Because it has zero charge, it does not act as strongly with matter as charged particles would. Which nuclear emission is listed with this notation? Look at table O on the periodic table, and you'll see that a beta particle has a mass of zero and a charge of negative one, which aligns with answer choice two. Diagram one represents an atom of hydrogen showing the nucleus and the electron in the first shell. What is represented by diagram two? Diagram 2 represents an atom of hydrogen in the excited state, answer choice 3, because the electron moved from the first shell to the third shell. The table below gives the atomic mass and the abundance of the two naturally occurring isotopes of copper. Which numerical setup can be used to calculate the atomic mass of the element copper? The answer is answer choice 4. The mass of the isotope should be multiplied by its frequency in nature, which is in percent form. When it's in percent form, you will have the decimal point move two spaces to the left. Which subatomic particles were discovered as a result of experiments with cathode ray tubes? You just have to remember that the answer is electrons, answer choice one. Which change in electron location of an atom is cal of calcium is accompanied by the greatest amount of energy emitted? 
When energy is emitted, the electron is moved from a farther shell to a shell that is closer to the nucleus. This eliminates answer choices 1 and 3. The answer will then be choice 4, because the farther apart the shells are, the more energy is emitted. As the atomic group number increases in group 2 from Be to Ba, the first ionization energy, the ionization will decrease as you go down a group because there is weaker attraction between the electrons and the nucleus because there are more electron shells, so the electrons will be farther from the nucleus. Because there are more electron shells, the atomic radius increases, which makes the answer choice 2. Given the equation representing a reaction, what is the mass of Mg3N2 that is produced when 14.58 grams of magnesium completely reacts with 5.6 grams of nitrogen? The mass of the reactants must be equal to the mass of the products. If there are 14.58 grams of magnesium and 5.6 grams of nitrogen, then the product should have a mass of 14.58 grams plus 5.6 grams. This equals 20.18 grams. Answer choice 3. Which Lewis electron dot diagram represents a molecule of H2S? Each element besides hydrogen must have eight electrons surrounding it to complete its outer shell. Hydrogen must have two electrons surrounding it to complete its outer shell. This makes the answer answer choice two. What is the vapor pressure of water at 90 degrees Celsius? You should go to table H on the reference table. Find the line that says H2O and look at the temperature axis to align 90 degrees Celsius with the line for water. If you align it, you can see that the vapor pressure is very close to 70 kPa, making the answer choice 2, which is 68 kPa. A sample is composed of two different substances that can be separated by using filter paper. This sample is classified as... This will be a heterogeneous mixture because the particles are not uniformly distributed if they can be separated by filter paper. Which solutions react to produce an insoluble compound? Go to table F, which shows which combinations are soluble or insoluble. You need to look for which combination of elements is insoluble, but not within the compound, but the elements of the compound it would be combined with. The answer to this question is choice 3 because in the soluble compounds under halides, it says that chlorine is soluble unless combined with Ag. What is the amount of heat energy absorbed when 40 grams of water is heated from 10 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius? Go to the back page of the reference table and see the equation Q equals mc change in T. This provides the amount of heat absorbed. We will plug in the 40 grams times 4.18, which is a specific heat capacity of water listed on the first page of the reference table, times 20, because 30 minus 10 equals 20. Doing this, Q is equal to 3,344 joules, which is equal to 3.34 times 10 to the third, answer choice 2. Given the formula representing a compound, what is the chemical name for this compound? The answer to this is answer choice 3. In order to name the compound, we must focus on the carbon atoms. First, we should look at the row of 5 carbon atoms in the compound since it runs down the middle of the structural formula. 5 carbon atoms is pent, so the answer would be either 3 or 4. There are two other carbon atoms in the compound as well. In these separate structures, there is one carbon atom in each one. This means that the answer will be 3 because it says meth, which means 1. Answer choice 4 says ethyl, which is 2, but it would mean that there were 4 other carbon atoms, not 2. Given the cooling curve for a substance, during which intervals is the potential energy decreasing while the average kinetic energy remains constant? The answer is 2. During the horizontal parts of the cooling curve, potential energy will decrease as the particles move closer together. The kinetic energy stays the same during the horizontal segments of the graph, and when the lines decrease, the kinetic energy decreases. Which formula represents a hydrocarbon? A hydrocarbon has only carbon atoms and hydrogen atoms, so this makes the answer choice 2. Which type of organic reaction produces carbon, dioxide, and water? The answer is choice 1. You just have to remember the definition of combustion. 
which means that it would produce carbon dioxide and water. Which half reaction equation represents the oxidation of lithium? We can eliminate two and three because in order for an atom of lithium to become an ion, it must lose one electron. The answer is four because an increase in oxidation number symbolizes oxidation, whereas a decrease in the oxidation number, such as in choice one, symbolizes reduction. Based on table J, which ionic equation represents a spontaneous reaction that can occur in a voltaic cell? In a voltaic cell, one element must undergo reduction and the other must undergo oxidation. One element will gain electrons while the other will lose electrons. This means that we can eliminate answer choices two and three because they both either undergo reduction or oxidation. If we go to table J, Fe is less reactive than Mg, so we'll undergo reduction and gain electrons. This makes the answer choice four because an Fe plus two ion gains two electrons to become an Fe atom. Given the equation representing a system at equilibrium, in this system, the H2O acts as, in this chemical reaction, H2O acts as a hydrogen ion. This means that it behaves as an acid, answer choice two. Which indicator is blue in a solution that has a pH value of seven? If you look at table M, it shows the colors of different indicators at specific pH values. We can eliminate answer choices two and three because they will never turn blue. Bromoscol green turns blue when the pH is above 5.4, so the answer is choice one. Which radioisotope requires long-term storage to prevent the risk of biological exposure? We need to go to table N to look at the half-life of each radioactive isotope. The one with the longest half-life is PU239, which has a half-life of 2.41 times 10 to the fourth years. This makes the answer choice three.